If you hire John Schmidt as an attorney, it's because he's a respected, very, very qualified attorney. If you have John Schmidt as a friend, as I do, it's because he's a compassionate man who genuinely cares about people. And he joins me today. And today's topic's a little bit different. John's father passed away, Henry Schmidt. So, John, first of all, um, welcome to the show, and I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, I, I, I found it interesting, and I knew um, when you said, I want to dedicate this show to my dad. I knew when he passed. I said, a guy like you, this really hit. So, before we get started, you know, tell me a little bit about your, your dad and, and some of the attributes that you share. Sure. So, dad, uh, dad was 79 when he passed. He'd been married to mom for 57 years, and um, he loved her just with everything. And and so <laughs> when he got a new car, mom got the new car, he got the hand-me-down. Uh, you know, he's that man. He's the man who treats ladies like they deserve to be treated, uh, treated mom with admiration and respect and reverence. And he really honored her uh, until his last breath. And, and when, uh, I told you this uh, before he came on, um, the night that uh, Saturday night, uh, Sunday morning, when he said he had this really bad headache, and this was the worst thing he'd ever had, and I asked him, "Who do you want to take you to the hospital?" Um, and he said, "I want your mother to take me." And so um, she was the last hand he held, the last set of eyes he saw, the last voice he heard, and. Um, and that's the way he'd want to go. As it should be. As, As it, it should, should be. be. You have two brothers. I do. And I'm assuming, I've never met them, but I'm assuming they're like you. You know, well-educated, compassionate people, probably done very well in their professions. What are the conversations like with them now? Uh, they're good. You know, we're all grieving in different ways. Um, Dad had different relationships with each of the boys. Uh, I'm the oldest of three, and there's David, who's two years younger, and Keith, who's four years younger. Um, and, um, and I think Keith would agree David was probably Dad's favorite, and uh, David was an F-15 pilot, uh, really, really talented, um, had an opportunity to fly with the Thunderbirds. And, Whoa. Yeah, he's a good stick. Works for United Airlines now and is a captain there. and. Um, he has two kids, Ethan and Natalie, and then Keith is, um, he's 52, and um, he's retired, just came out of retirement for like the third time. Uh, he retired the first time he was 40. So he's, he's uber successful and a great guy, super charming, um, lives in Vail with uh, his fiance, Gina, and David lives with Roberta, uh, his fiance, in D.C. They have a farm outside D.C. Uh, and Keith has uh, two daughters, Ashley and Kate. And so uh, I, I guessed correctly. Your siblings are successful, like you. Oh yeah, they're 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 even more successful than I am. They're they're and they're amazing men. Well, the, you know, it, it, the one may be a pilot, but you navigate in a courtroom pretty well too. So we gotta <laughs> give you some credit. Yeah, I, I, I'm, yeah I'm sorry. I, it, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. Yeah. Let's talk, let's talk a little bit about how important the grandchildren were. There was a sign in front of his house. I was reading his obituary, and a True sign story. he had in front of his house. You you have to share that because I love this. This says so much about your father. Yeah. It says uh, grandchildren welcome, parents by appointment only. <laughs> and so uh, so that that's dad. He'd do anything for the grandchildren. My three kids, Mary Claire, Henry James, and Murphy Lee, um, were. Um, always tight with him, and, and actually, I live next door to mom and dad, and um, so um, they would come over to Mamaw and Papaw's house uh, all the time, and, um, and love their Mamaw and Papaw, and so uh, it's it's a good thing for mom because now the grandchildren, you know, will be there to help kind of ease her through this. Uh, time, but Dad's a great guy, and um, like I told you before, you know he, he had some struggles growing up with his father, and um, and he decided he wanted to be a certain kind of dad, and he was not going to be like his dad was, and and uh, and so um, living next door, I got a chance to most nights kiss him on top of the head and say, Dad. Uh, you know, I couldn't have asked for a better dad. You're your best dad ever. So my hope is that he knew that, and uh, and and he 
felt secure in the fact that um, he did that. He, he's a great man. He really the, was. You know, that's why I think that you're comfortable with this, because as you said, first of all, your dad, very spiritual, a believer. I think devout Catholic, is that correct? Yeah, absolutely yeah. devout Catholic and, and uh, involved with the Bible study group out of Southeast Christian with Amos Martin, um, you know, um, and, and that group. And um, lived a great life. Lived a great life. Oh, really yeah. did. Yeah, he was dean of students, youngest dean of students at Bellarmine College, uh, the youngest dean of students in the United States at the time, at 21 at Bellarmine College, uh, right after he graduated. Wow. And he was there for 10 years. And uh, he started a coffee house circuit. So um, he actually put it together. But aspiring musicians would go from one college campus to the next playing their songs. So we had Jim Croce stay at the house. Try to oh teach me how to goodness. play the ukulele. What great story! Which is cool. Shanana, do you remember Shanana? They yeah. had a, they, oh, yeah. Shanana came through. Jimmy Buffett came through on that circuit uh, before they became famous. And um, wow, yeah. Well, yeah. you have some really great stories, courtesy so, of your father. Oh, Hank was a great guy. Yeah, I, I, I think that says a lot. You know, his name's Henry Schmidt, but he goes by Hank, which tells me it sounds like good guy. Everyone loves Hank, right? Yeah, everybody loves Hank. <laughs> Hank was a good guy. Loved to golf and um, was he good? Uh, yeah, yeah, he was good. I am awful, but he was good. Well, yeah, <laughs> he was they, always, good. they always get better when they pass away, don't they? I mean, he, was, <laughs> he was fantastic. <laughs> but I, I felt for you, and, and you know, it seems to me when I was reading the obituary, you're a lot like your father, you know, well-educated, well-read, compassionate man, <laughs> love kids, an educator at heart, all of those things. Of all the attributes that your dad passed along to you, which one are you most proud of? Oh, being a father, a good father. Um, without a doubt. Um, That's the one. Yeah, yeah, and I, I try to be a good husband, <laughs> but he, he was better at it than I am, I guess. But uh, but being a good father is, 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 you know, I wouldn't trade a minute with my kids, not, not a minute with any one of them for an entire new lifetime. I just wow. wouldn't do it. Um, and so, you know, what a gift. And you have you have boys that you love and kids you love, and you know what that's like. I mean. Yeah, yeah, no, you're exactly right. It, it, and when you see bits of your father and your kids, it's got to make you smile. Because, it does. yeah, it does. Because, I, I, you know, as I said, I was reading his obituary, and I said, you know, this a lot of this applies to John, which tells me he was a good father and had a positive influence. So, again, I'm sorry for your loss. Please pass Thank that you. along to your siblings, do it. The, the grandkids, and everyone. Yeah. But, but Hank lived a good life. So. Hank lived a great life. Yes. All yeah. right. Once again, uh, John Schmidt, who is an attorney here in town, dedicating this segment to his father. So we'll close with uh, a picture of Hank and let you get to know him a little bit.